said, G'day folks, the duck here. Now look, as you know, over the last few months, we've been telling you about Oz Off-Road. It's a fantastic adventure centre, not just a four-wheel drive shop, not just a camping store, but a whole lot more than that. Now when we took the challenge on, we partnered up with the good people of Ozcar, and we thought, okay, what do we want? We decided what we needed, and the results are right here behind me. Now the first thing we had to do was basically get ourselves a showroom. So we walked in here, sorted all of that out, started building, got people in, did all the hard lifting, the stuff that I don't want to do, and we had all that set and off we went. The next thing I needed to do was to build a couple of four-wheel drives. We needed to replace our ones anyway, so we thought, let's do that. So I had to give that job to someone, so that job of building our four-wheel drives and making all that work and make sure that not only did they look good, but they were good. Plenty of stuff looks good, but not good underneath, but we wanted everything was my young bloke Robert, who was the manager of Oz off -road. So when you come in and buy something or want to know something, you come in and look for him. So we gave him a brand new Hilux and we gave him a very late model Ford Ranger. He said, here are the two cars, mate. Do your best with those and, um, and we'll see how they go when you're done. Well, we're, they're done, so let's have a look how he went. All right, mate, how do you reckon you went? Went pretty good, big job. Big but job, let's go. Got there in the end. Front, frontal protection, mate, what do we got here? Got an MCC Phoenix bar, triple loop. Uh, nine and a half thousand pound oak and winch underneath. Ultra Vision 180 spotties. Uh, we've got the Ultra Vision double row light bar on the top. So lighting's covered. We've also got the MCC recovery points down here. Oak and bash plates underneath, so protection's all sorted. We've got the best of both worlds. We've got oak and brush bars. Oak and brush bars, 63 mil. Oak and side step, 63 mil to match. Now we wanted a snorkel and we thought we'd do something a bit different. What did we do here? Because this does look pretty good, mate. We went to the boys at AAA Fabrications in Mackay, sent us down a four inch stainless steel snorkel. Um, custom made good, too. Custom which, made. Yeah, custom made too. Well, look at it. They've got the OKM towing moves, which I asked for, because I have them on, I've had them on uh, all vehicles because we towed the off-road van, so they're, they're on. So that's good. So we've done, um, we wanted some recovery stuff, so you got some max tracks for me, mate. You got some max tracks up on the roof with the uh, shovel mount as well, all incorporated. Who's going to get up there and get that shovel? Well, maybe you might have to get you or your sister up there. Okay. So the big thing, mate, I said we don't want tubs. No what tubs. Do, what do we do here, mate? So we've got ourselves, we've sourced the canopy and, and tray from uh, a good mate of ours in Melbourne. What do we do with them once we got them here? Yeah, we went to the boys at TC Boxes and sent down the tray and canopy setups. We got the We've got the bigger tool tray boxes. toolboxes. Yeah. Put the toolbox in here. We fitted this out all ourselves, put pulse floors, carpeted it, made it look pretty. The lights up here, we'll go into that in a bit more detail over there. Alright, so that was all good. So then we obviously got a water pump or a water tank too. You've looked after me there too, mate. Yep. Which water on tap. Right. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so we'll have a look around the back here. Now this was, I don't know who thought of this idea, mate, but it's a beauty. So we've got a barbecue here in the trundle. In here, we've mounted the barbecue. It all sits in there, the lid comes down. So that's all good, so we've got that sorted out. So we've got a barbie in the back, which I love. So that's all very good, good stuff, mate. Nice and solid as well. Yeah, all well built. All right, uh, you organised me a, a good bar, because obviously we tow the caravan, so we've got a pretty good a pretty good tow bar on there, mate. Yeah, we've got the Heyman Reese X bar. It's got the recovery points incorporated, three and a half ton rated. Real good bar. Yeah, recovery points too, which is good. It's got a couple of jerry can holders on the back of the canopy, which is good as well. What do we do on the roof of the canopy, mate? We've got a roof rack up there. Yeah, we've got the OKM Tradesman roof rack. Uh, really good bit of kit. Sits up there nicely. Yeah, and we've got an awning. What awning have we gone with here? We've got the Darchi 270 Eclipse awning, the wraparound yep. awning. Yeah, which will be pretty good. Yeah, real good. Okay, another thing I see, can you make it fit? Was one of them travel buddies, so you've done that for me. Here it is, mounted up here, nice and flush, on the OKM drawer. We've got the slide out. Yep. Okay, so we've got the slide out there for there. We'll just bash everything's a bit stiff because it's new, eh? And we've got a drawer in here full of your old man's crap. And uh, mate, I've, I've noticed you've mounted me compressor in here, which is good. It's a quick look at that. That's all the tank there and hoses. That's there. So happy days. Uh, I wanted to keep my old fridge because it holds a fair bit of beer, this one. So we've got that on a, on the, on a tilt slide. Tilt that's an slide. OKM tilt slide, yeah? Yep. Uh, yeah, correct right. kit as well. Okay, good stuff mate, and um, let's go and have a look what you've done in here. Uh, you can explain that to me mate, because that's way out of my league. We've gone through a, you know, a bit of a mid-range dual battery setup here. We've got, the, we've got a big 200 amp hour OCAM battery, Red Arc 1000 watt uh, inverter, 
the BC to B, uh, BC to BC up there, and then store powers the lights, fridge, travel buddy, yep. plenty of accessory sockets. It's a USB USB Space. socket as well, which is good, and that's a lithium battery, which I'm pretty yeah, happy with it all. And we're, what about now? We've got um, a big set of wheels and tyres on here. What did we do there? Yeah, we've got the dynamic wheels. Yep. Great wheel, the Dick Pack Extreme Tyres. Yep. Dynamic wheel co. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so we've got them all around, we've got five yep. of them. And now with the suspension, which the suspension is always a is a big a big talking point for anybody, what do we do suspension-wise, mate? Uh, suspension-wise, we've got the Outback Armour uh, Extra Heavy Duty uh, Expedition Series kit. Uh, it is a really good bit of kit, all adjustable. Uh, for this, we've got the uh, Tough Dog airbags in the back for the caravan, a bit more weight. Um, yeah, suspension-wise, it's a really good setup. Okay, so... We want to give it a bit more zing, and uh, so what have we done there performance-wise, mate? We're talking to the people at Torquet. Yeah, the good boys at Torquet have sent us uh, uh, throttle uh, controllers and uh, flash remaps yep. to put in the cars, and uh, yeah, it should get them going a lot better. Okay, and we've also got, a, I noticed, a nice brand new exhaust in there as well. Yeah. Because every brand new car needs. It's got the AAA uh, DPF back exhaust on it. That's uh, another really good quality bit of kit. They're good, the boys at AAA and Mackay. So there it is. So that's basically what we've done to our standard hull. Actually, we've got a rat, and we've also got a flat rack up there too, and we've got a solar, we've got a solar panel up there as well. Yeah, we've got the Roller Titan flat rack and the uh, Red Arc 120 watt solar panel up there. Yep. All right, good stuff, mate. Well, we're uh, all good. We've obviously been decked out with Uniden radios, which is a given, obviously, because we love Uniden somewhere here, and uh, and, uh, and Hema as well with our HX2 sat navs and off-road navigation. What do you reckon? I think he's done a pretty good job. We'll, uh, what we'll do, we'll wander over and see what he did to the Ranger because he doesn't need the setup that I need, so we'll go for a quick walk around there. So here we are now. We are here at the uh, Ford Ranger. I don't know who the lucky bloke is that's going to be driving this, but uh, we'll check it out. Um, let's start with, um, let's just start where we started with the other one. So we've got our Let's start at the, uh, the front now, frontal protection. What have we got here, mate? Uh, here we've got the MCC Phoenix Triple Loop uh, Deluxe Bull Bar. Yep. With the 9,500 pound OKM winch, Ultravision 180 spotties. Yep. Uh, the Uniden Aerial. Uniden Aerial, yep. Yep. The antenna. Uh, I'll see, we've ordered another snorkel from my mate up at AAA. Another AAA snorkel, yep. four inch stainless. Yep, okay. We can actually customise these two, can't we? Because if you have a look at the camera around here, you can see our Oz off-road laser cut in the end of the snorkel, so we do that sort of stuff. And we can actually put that on anybody's vehicles, whatever they want, can't we? You can. On their snorkels, okay. So we've done that. Again, I see you've gone the Max Tracks for yourself. Got the Max Tracks and the shovel mount up there on the Roller Titan roof, ray, uh, roof track as well. Yep. Uh, so I've got the OKM weather shields. Yep. No. And same uh, OKM 63mm uh, side steps. Yep, okay, and you've got the towing mirrors as well in case you've got to come and tow me home. Yep, got the OKM TM3 towing mirrors on there. Yep. Okay, they do good towing mirrors, OKM, don't they? They do. Okay, so in the back of yours, so let's have a look and see because your setup's obviously different than mine. So we'll open it up. So on this side, because I looked in here the other day, there wasn't a hell of a lot because you store a bit of gear when you go camping yourself. I do. And room to put a ski in here or yep. whatever sort of toys I want to drive around with. Okay, so you've got the same water tank as me. Same water tank. Okay, that, which is good, all, all factored in and built in, and also your your um, battery's built back into the wall too, which is good. Okay, so there's not much on this side to look at because that's what it is, but you've got your compressor in here too, like I have. And um, let's have a look. So you've got that mounted and wired in. Got the OCAM compressor in there. Yep, that's good, it's mounted in there. So you've got it in there. Your tires up and down and all that sort of stuff. Okay, and we'll get to the We'll get to the uh, tent in a minute. We'll go back around. So on this side of the vehicle, you've got no barbecue in your trundle, mate. No barbecue. Not no. much of a cooker. No. Well, let's have a look why you haven't got a barbecue in here. So we'll open her up. What have we done in here, mate? Uh, in here, I can start here with the Oakham kitchen drawer. Yep. How good is this thing? All right, bring that camera around here. Let's have a look at this. How good is this? So here we've got our gas burner. Yep. Yeah, tap. It's got yep. an electric pump on it. Yep. Perfect okay, kitchen. good stuff. You've got some areas to serve here. Okay, which is good. That's pretty good, isn't it? Which is uh, all brand new, but we've still got the protecting stuff on it, mate. Yeah. All right. And what did you do with your fridge, mate? You've just got uh, you've got the OCAM fridge. With the OCAM 65 litre fridge. Yep. Uh, it's on the tilt slide as well. Give it a good pull. Everything's a bit stiff if it's brand new, but look at it, as you know. 
they're designed yeah, good. They're a good bridge, aren't they, all day, those things. Yeah, we've got mm -hmm. the same sort of dual battery setup in this one as the Hilux. We've yep. got the 100 amp hour OCAM battery, water pump, uh, BCDC charger. Yep. Yep, good stuff. Now, with the suspension on this, what did we do with that? Uh, suspension on this is uh, Outback Armour. Yep. Uh, heavy duty springs, all adjustable. Uh, no airbags in this one. Yep, okay. Well, so we've got yep. those, obviously Outback Armour, most people are recognised from. Um, all for adventure as well as Pat Callanan's program, so it's pretty good gear and, and they're good blokes up there that helped us out. So I've got my carrier that I towed, mate, but I told you you might as well get yourself a roof tent. What did you go with, mate? Uh, we went with the Camp Boss Hardshore Roof Tent. Yep. And uh, it's a great bit of kit. Yep. It's got uh, lights inside, got power points inside. Yep. Um, Unbelievable. Yeah, good for really me, I just tent. can't get up the ladder, son. <laughs> all right, so you got got... Um, so you've got lights inside, you've only got a couple of warnings off this a tent A few too. warnings off it, it's all, yeah. a lot of airflow through this tent. Yep. I think all in all, mate, you've done a pretty good job on both cars, they're both strong underneath. Again, you've gone with the same wheels and tyres as the Hilux. Yep. Yeah, which is fantastic. I think all in all, mate, I think you haven't done a bad job. Right? Yeah. What do you reckon? Now, all this gear that we've got on these vehicles and others is available at Oz Off-Road. You need to keep an eye on it. It's coming your way. We open up very, very soon in Penrith and then beyond that as well. So be sure to come and check it out, check the cars out. Whatever you need to build up your four-wheel drive, we can sort it out for you. Suspension upgrades right through to absolutely anything you want. We also do trade, we, you know, we also do anything for camping, travelling, you know, get you out there so you don't have to come back. Wish I could do that. Anyway, there it is. They're the two builds we did in sort of a lot quicker than they actually took to do.